Um, so when we talk about the polar regions, just to clarify exactly what we mean, um, we have, first of all, the Arctic at the top of the Earth and the Antarctic at the bottom. Um, so the Arctic was named um, after the Greek word for bear. Now, surprisingly, it's not after the polar bears that live in the, Antarct uh, live in the Arctic, um, but it's after the little and great bear constellations that can be seen in the sky. Um, now, the Greeks also hypothesised that there would be an anti-Arctic, which is how we get the name Antarctica. Um, but, of course, it wasn't discovered until much later on. Now, these regions are opposite in many ways other than just their names and their location on the globe. Um, so if we look at the Arctic, first of all, um, the Arctic is actually ocean surrounded by land. Um, so we can see here, this is the UK down here, and this is kind of Russia, and then America and Canada around here. Um, so there is a bit of land covered in ice in the, in the Arctic, which is Greenland here. Um, but mostly all this area here, surprisingly a lot of people don't realise that this isn't actually land. The North Pole isn't on land, it's just one big ocean. Um, so if you were to go to the North Pole, you could stand on it. But if you were to drill down through the ice, you would find ocean beneath it.